Hello everyone, here's Max Kordek with a new video about how to send a transaction on the Lisp mainnet version 3 in case that you had a second passphrase registered on the Lisp mainnet version 2. So with the new mainnet we migrated all accounts with the second passphrase registered to a 2 of 2 multi-signature account. At the end it's the same thing but it's now being handled differently on our list desktop user interface because normally a multi-signature account is being handled by multiple people and not by the same person while in contrast the second passphrase before was mostly handled by the same person so the user experience is different now um, but it was a very important change for us so that we could lean out and minimize our protocol so I have prepared a new account. Um, in the corner here you see the details of the LISC address of this account. The first passphrase, the regular one you always use to sign into your account and the second passphrase which you only needed then to sign the transaction. So we log in with the passphrase as always and now want to send a transaction. Um, however, here we um, can send any kind of transaction, just a normal balance transfer. We can vote for delegates. The process is always the same process. Um, let me look for an account we want to send some money to. Um, let's say Blaine Mono, our Lisk chat moderator. So we're going to send him 0.5 LSK. Thank you for being a moderator go to the confirmation and now here we see something new and different for um, yeah, all of our users. So here we are getting confronted with a message that two signatures are required to send this transaction and that we need to download something. So let's click on download which opens up um, or which downloads this file, a JSON file with transaction details about this transaction we're just sending. So what we now need to do is we need to sign out of this account and just sign in with the second passphrase. It's a new account, it has no history, but in the normal case of a multi-signature account that would just be a second regular LISC account which was added to a multi-signature scheme. Um, however, if you were just using a second passphrase on Lisk mainnet version 2 then it's just a new account and it looks like this. That's why it's so confusing to you. However here you just have to click on sign multi-signature, click on the text here read from JSON file, select that file and then review and sign and here we have all the transaction details. So we just need to sign that second part of the transaction and then send the transaction into the network. That's it. If we click on close and go to our wallet we don't see anything here because it never really happened on this account because the other account, this one here, which I have um, written here in that text file, is actually sending the transaction. This account we are signing into here is just the second signature required to actually sign it fully and broadcast it to the network. So we can sign out again and sign in to our normal regular account with the first passphrase, go to the wallet and we see it was signed and sent to the recipient. So if you now need to vote for a delegate, it's the same procedure. You just send your transaction, vote for your delegates, whatever you want to do, click on download, download the JSON file, sign into um, with your second passphrase click on sign multi-signature, attach the JSON file you just downloaded, sign the transaction and then send the transaction which broadcasts it to the network. And that's it. That's how you send transactions in case you had a second passphrase registered before. Thank you so much.